everybody i am back with another celebrity request so we're gonna take a look into the love life of mrs erica badu see how she make me call her that true queen status true matriarch i can say both matriarch patriarch I can actually say both. True queen, true king. She is tall. <laughs> she just feels very tall. She feels very tall for some reason. And of course, I was hearing different things because she's so spiritual. Um, When it comes to her love life, I had felt it being thin. I don't know exactly what that means, but I heard the word thin is thin, which means it exists, but it's thin. And when something is very thin, what do you do? You handle it with care? Yeah, so I heard that. And I see this tallness in a spirit. I see this authority in the spirit but I also see this coat and there is some type of coat or a cape where she covers things there's things inside of her coat there's things under the coat you may not know it and if you don't know it that's your fault but it's things up under the coat that she truly, truly cares about. So everything on the outside of her is thin. I think that's that thinness that I'm getting in the spirit. Um, so that's one thing that I do know about her love life. May not make any sense, but if she was approached with love, I can see her experiencing it. But it's going to be thin, <laughs> whatever that means. And she already has it under her coat what's under the coat there is something that she's harboring keeping holding hostage it's something under the coat and i don't believe that those energies or even memories wants to be released they want to be under the coat what i'm talking about i absolutely don't know but i feel like there's two people under her coat that's how it feels. And these are two important love partners that is under her coat. And they are not asking to leave. And she is not releasing them. So, of course, the options is thin. The availability is thin. The heart is thin. Um, of course, everything is thin. Because if you got two people or two souls or two energies under your coat then they're sucking love and you're giving love she's already has two partners on her tits if that makes any sense and usually I say breasts but I just heard tits one on each breast there is two energies already drinking from her Okay, we talking about Erica. How could you be surprised <laughs> that it sounds this way? So that's just a few things I wanted to get out the way. And then we're going to look into the love messages currently and to see if anyone's coming. Which doesn't feel like a big deal. But we can still look to see if anyone is coming. So this is all about positivity, of course. Her love language, her way of love is about positivity and protection. It's positive, it feels good, and it's also about protection. And I don't know what this big protection thing is all about because I wanted to say queen and I heard king and I wanted to say matriarch and I heard patriarch and I see her tall and I don't know what all that is about, but... I don't know. I don't know why love looks like protection. Um, I don't know. Protection from what? 
So there are unprotected people that she is attracted to. She has an attraction to those who feel unprotected. The unprotected energies attract to her and they get up under her coat. What that looks like naturally, these will be men who live in fear. People who live in fear. If you live in fear, if you feel like you're not complete, if you feel like something's after you or your mind is after you, it could just be your own internal thoughts is after you, hunting you, riding you. She can protect it. She is a protector of what you fear, which means what? She has no fear. She's fearless. She has that much power in her to protect others. So I have her in the spirit as a protector, naturally, and able to attract those who feel unprotected and those who are in fear of themselves in fear of their passions, in fear of their purpose, in fear of reality or fantasy, in fear of their own accomplishments or failures, whatever it is. <clears throat> okay? All right. Got that out the way. So there is definitely a positive there when it comes to this energy around her with love. Um, she's working at all times, always working in the spirit, always working on love, always looking and observing love. She's always observing that. But I do have some things about love that needs to be closed. I got her working on the theories of love, or I got her working in areas of love that Actually, she needs to close. I think she knows that already. Or it can just be her working on these two energies that's so close to her. Maybe something in that area needs to be closed out. Maybe whoever is under the coat needs to be kicked out. Maybe she no longer needs to work on it anymore. Or work for them. Uh, almost feels like she's working for people she loves in the spirit. Like, don't think it. I'll think it for you. Don't feel it. I'll feel it for you. I got that type of feeling. But I am showing that something about that thought or behavior or um, work. Something about that needs to stop. Let's see why. She's been asked to release someone. That's what she's been asked. She's asked to release something or someone. Right? No longer work for this person. I got her. Let's look again. Just a second. I'm hearing some things. Yeah. Because whatever she's working on in love or whatever she's, whoever she's working for with a past love, you need to close it out because I got a stressor here. It's something stressing and draining about whoever she's working on or working for. Let me see why. I got this situation here from the past. It's not complete. Yeah, she got a serious repeated pattern for working for someone to clear them or heal them or something she's working to do for someone and it's not happening. I felt like they were children at first, but I feel like these are men. Feels like two men. And one looks clearer than the other. One is closer than the other. So, when it comes to her love life, she is already at work, working and protecting and being a protector and working for two past loves. 
needing to stop, needing to close it out. Why? Because it's taking up too much mental space. And she'd done it before and haven't got to the completion that she desires. Why? Because they're not working or they're not receiving. It's almost like she's pushing out great energy towards a loved one from the past. And as much energy as she pushes out to them, they keep coming up with the same results of being what? Unhealed. Feels like she's trying to heal someone. Or want the best for someone. Want someone to be increased. Or want someone to elevate. And they keep dropping the ball and not making it into that point. So it's an unfinished situation in this love life of hers. We haven't, she hasn't closed it out yet because she still holds responsibility by choice. And it hasn't closed out yet because there are some things. Let's find it out. Why we haven't came to an ending on these two past loves. Let's see. Hmm. Why we haven't came to an ending? We're waiting on some decisions. Let's see. You know, I got the feeling like, feels like one, the one that I can see clearly, which I can't see clearly. I'm just going to say the light is brighter than the other one. With this one that has this bright light in that person or that energy makes me feel like they said something in a natural to a point of don't ever let me go. Because a decision hasn't been made yet. That's why this situation hasn't end or the judgment hasn't came because a decision it hasn't completed itself. This is just weird. Hmm. Okay, just give me a moment. I feel more than what I see right now. And I think what I feel is, makes more sense than what I see. Yeah. That's a connection here. <laughs> I would love to call it a soul tie. Because that's just what we use all the time to explain stuff like this. But I just see this extension or cord or connection going one way. The soul ties usually my flesh, your flesh, or my pleasure, your pleasure, my unhealed, your unhealed. They're connected like that. But these are connected in different ways. It feels different. It almost feels like these people don't want to be let go of. And she keeps pushing into them pressing into them okay at the end of the day this is not love or there is a lack of love or love is being sucked from her by working still for these other people would not be surprised if one of these lovers is um taurus virgo or capricorn that is still connected here would not be surprised. For some reason, she feel responsible for these boys. It feels like boys. But I feel like they're men. Yeah. Okay. So, if I can summarize what I see as far as the love energies around her. Um... It is positive. I don't know if it's healthy. It all depends on if you have the unprotection qualifications to be with her. So I don't know if it's healthy or not. But what I do know is there is positivity and happiness flowing from her and about love. And I do know that she already has two um, energies or souls or two men under her coat already 
and they are there and they are living off of her as if she is the source. She is the source for these two people. Um, one seems to be closer to her than the other one. The one that's closer to her could be closer because it can be recent, a year or two from now. Or this person can just be sucking more off the breast than the other person. Because this one that I can see with this bigger light just feels like they don't want to walk away or run away. They are hooked to it. But this other person or this other energy on her other breast just feel like it's fading. So at times it looks like two suns and I'm doing a love message. So it's two men. And I do mean men. It could have been anything else. But it just feels like that. Um, I have her as a source. Weird. Not weird. Just weird for me. Because I'm able to explain it. Um, the coat. The coat thing. Um, and I do mean coat. C-O-A-T. Coat. I'm trying to figure out the coat. I mean, she is a protector. And she covers. And she protects. And... That coat is a coat of honor and power and strength. And and the coat protects everything. As much as I think about her for myself personally, because I am a fan, I would see her walking around naked all the time. But however, it amazes me that I see her covered more than anything. What that means, I don't know. So that's what I see there. But however, based on the way things is happening... Even though she's still working in the spirit for these two paths. You know what? Okay. I just heard to dig deeper into that. Okay, so we'll do that. It's advised for her to close out. It's advised for her to close out just connections. It's, and being advised that it's taking up too much mental space. And it's making it thin for anybody on the outside who approaches. That's the thinning part. It's like a thinning process that I felt in the beginning. You know? Yeah, that's thin. Because you already got two latched on to you. And then you got another one coming. Now, she ain't empty by far. But it's thin. Yeah. Yeah. So she's being asked to release because this is a repeated pattern without getting the results that you're looking for. They are not growing in strength. And for that reason, it's not closed out because a decision has not been made to release. They are not releasing her. And she feels obligated in some kind of way to keep them. And it's resulting to a lack of love or it's resulting to a loss of love because she's giving away strength. Hmm. It's almost like doing this positive thing is actually breaking her at the same time or sucking her dry. Hmm. You know, some people know how to refuel themselves or get that increase a fuel substance but I got hers low because of them too it's like if I just say let's wing them off and watch you feel stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and then you'll be so strong that you take this coat and you just take it off of you why do I feel like she did this before and put the coat back on I just saw her doing it, like, naturally taking off a coat. Is there a video where she takes off a coat? Well, she probably done this already. In some kind of way, maybe the coat, she put the coat back on. Okay? So, we're going to look at them, just for love's sake, as two men connect to her bosoms. And we're going to look to see if we can get some information after, after we look at the current love situation. So right now, 
when it comes to love now I get this feeling of it's never what you want it to be love is never what you want it to be love is not fulfilling it, it will never fill you up there's no way, there's no options, there's not a way to get filled up by love. Why? Because we are forever changing. <laughs> I kind of understand that too. That's not a fulfilling and you won't be fulfilled. But and even as I say that, that is amazing that that match with the last message in the love energies because you are not fulfilled because you're being sucked on and not replenished in some type of way. And that's how I got her feeling about love right now. It doesn't give you everything that you need. It doesn't give you everything that you want. Love does not fulfill you completely and there's no way to get it to do that why because things is constantly changing I just saw like ring around the roses right then as soon as you want to attach to it you gotta transition she respects transitioning be a possible water sign that can be here too that she feel is not will that she feel would not be enough or that she feels does not understand love for herself. If it's a water sign, it almost feels like I have no option but to not let you in because love is thin and I already got babies connected to me. I'm already working and connected to someone. And connected to things. I'm already working. I'm all I don't have another boob for you. So the love is thin. You can't get under the coat. And I can't let you in. Because my love is thin. And as soon as you think that you're connected, you gotta transition again. But at the same time, I don't have a running. Or walking away. I just have her looking down at another boy. I don't know why I'm saying boy. Please forgive me. Man or boy. Trying to tell him. That it's going to be then. If you want to be in. Like into me. Intimacy. It's, it's really like. It's kind of like how sometimes guys talk to girls, but this is very honest. This is like, I feel the love and the positivity and the honesty around what she's saying, but it's kind of like, you know, if I, if I be with you and if I kick it with you, I can't, I can't go to the fullest place. I can't go to the highest place. You have to understand that things are going to be thin. Because when transition times come, everything changes. What that means, I don't know. Let's look a little bit into that. Let's see. Possible water sign could be, she could be dealing with right now or in talks to or having this um, teacher-student moment or she could be making someone aware and beware of what you're asking. You're asking to come in. I just had that type of Feeling. So why do you think it doesn't fulfill you? Why do you think you don't get what you deserve and love? Why? And if she accepts it, this is, this is not bitter. <laughs> this is not bitter at all. Oh. Wow. It's all about transition. It's almost like she's telling them to partner of the potential person who wants to come in you can't get what you want and what you need and what you can't be fulfilled because we always create in a way to detach so we can be 
the person within. Why the hell is I rhyming like this? I don't know. But it, that's how it looks. That's how the sentence looks. It's almost like she's telling potential partners, you're not going to get everything you desire. And you're not going to get 100% completion because we're always creating a way to detach when we decide to be what? The king. So if you want to be greater, if you want to be great, if you want to be at your full potential of life, she's pretty much saying in love, you're not going to get everything. you got to detach to be king. I think it's an herb sign under that coat. I'm almost sure of that. And it feels like a water sign is negotiating to get in. She don't. I think her experience and her way of looking at things is if you want to make it to the next level of kingdom, queendomship in you, of you, you always got to detach. You always got to release a, a portion of love to get to your highest place. So it's going to be thin. You have no options. She don't see any options in that working out. Well, how are you going to make it to the fullness of yourself with me around? How are you going to make it to the fullness of yourself and I'm holding on to you? It's amazing type feeling. Why do you think there's no options? Oh, wow. And cars everywhere. It's just a belief. This is like a doctrine. This is like what she know what she know what she know. And try again. Okay. I keep getting double cards. Got some water energy coming around again. Okay. Just to try. I think I got the answer already. It's just doctrine. It's just law. Yeah. This is what happened many, many years ago. This is a law. This is a doctrine. This is an experience of things. Of, this is what she's seen all of her life. This is what she knows. This is what she knows about kingdom and royalty. This is what she knows. It's almost like she read this fairy tale book about the kings and the queens and the rulers and the judges and the leaders. And this is what she knows. This is like a doctrine when it comes to love. Each time she was with someone or the times she was with someone, you had to break to make. Oh, how do I say that? Break to make. Make who? Make you. Growth. It's almost like I will be with you, but I will step aside because the purpose is for you to shine. It's like getting people and releasing people. But I have two people that has not been released. As if they still need to study or still need to work or still need to learn or these are my favorite two. I don't want them to grow. So it's almost like you're preaching growth and teaching growth for the newcomers. But you get two that you never release. Why? Because that's the way it goes. That's the doctrine. That's the law. That's what life issues or conflicts or traumas have shown her it's no option you release when you got to grow because transitions happen they happen amazing well let's look to see if there's anyone coming in i got a strong earth sign that's connected already but Let's see if there's anyone new coming in. I think everybody want to know what's under that coat. Because I feel like she's the only one with a coat. <laughs> it's just how it feels. Walking around the garden with a coat on. 
when she actually don't have on a coat. It's just that her energy is a shield. She can shield people. She can shield the things. She don't want people to know or see. I just got her as a protector. So, let's look again. Who's coming towards her? Her love life is different than probably anybody love life I ever did. I think so. It's so different. It's got a Lisa Bonet type feel to it, a pinch, because it's complex. Who's coming towards her? Anyone new? It's not about who's coming towards her. It's more about what they won't receive. That's what it's about. <laughs> it's more about what they won't receive or what they can't receive or... Yeah. That's some water energy here and I got a Libra here, but... <laughs> this is more about not being able to receive the mental space, the time, the stability, the work, the love, the passion. It's almost like whatever is coming towards you, whoever is coming towards you desiring love, they won't get the fullness thereof. <laughs> not about who's coming it's about what they it's about what they can't receive or won't be able to receive or understanding that this moment will happen hmm. okay so with that being said I felt led to look at these two people and for some strange reason I just turned my board around so how can I label these two men or energies under the coat? I don't know. But let's just say one is lit up like a light bulb. 100 watt. Probably not 100. Probably like 80 watt. I got an 80 watt energy. We're going to look into. And I got a 40 watt energy. We're going to look into. Yeah. What else are we going to do? So first, I'm going to pull for this 80 watt, meaning that this energy shines brighter. I'm assuming this is some lover from the past. What do we need to know? Well, what can we know? Why are you there? Who are you? This one was strong. I sure did. I want to pull for the 40 watt. Real quick. What are you doing? What do you want? Who are you? This is the left breast. see is what I felt I felt this 80 watt type lighter shinier stronger energy connected to her I did feel that and when I pull for this 80 watt person <laughs> that's on the right breast this is the bondage this person is bound 
This person is there. This is the one that I said feels like in a natural, they will say, don't let me go. This is that one, 80 watt. Don't let me go. I have nothing but bondage here. Being bound. They're there to be bound. They want to be held on to. They're not offering any success or completion in her school, I'll say. They want to fail. Ain't that something? That's how this person feels to me. They want to fail. This person does not want to succeed. This person does not want to get to a point where they no longer need or feel her. They want to be like this. They don't want to get things together. It's a codependency here. I have nothing but earth over here. My number one pick or I got strong Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo over here on this right side. Wanting to be bound and not offering themselves to be whole. This is the type of person in a natural that goes to take the test and just put all C's. C, 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 C. Knowing that they're going to fail it. So that they can stay connected. That's how this person feels. Why? Is there anything else? Anything else? Why? Why and why? Hmm. Why? Try again. I think it's just what I just said, though. It's not a lot of hidden things going on. Or is it? Yeah, something hidden. What's behind the moon? Her. Why are you doing it? Just something to think about. Okay, I'm back. Uh-huh. I had my little suspense moment. Like, dun, 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 dun. Let's see. <laughs> it's like nothing want to come out. The cards are heavy. Hmm. <laughs> Very heavy. Try again. If not, they're going to take it for face value. I got work. I got a Libra again. Possible Libra, possible Earth sign on that right side. But I'm going with Earth. Hmm. No. I said. I said what I said. They want to keep this place. This is a placement. They want to stay connected like that. They don't want to grow. They don't want to push off. They don't want to be in the front. The front. It's amazing, too. This person wants to stay under the coat. They don't even want to be side by side or in front. See, it's that fear. This is a man of fear. He's comfortable being covered. He wants to be covered. He wants to be together, locked down, or bound. Or... He wants that. Because he has fear in getting his own coat. And he has fear in walking beside her and walking in front of her and looking her in the eye. He has fear. So he's just feeding with no offers and no desires to push or to give any effort to be as one with her. They didn't even feel like they could be together. But not if he on the breast. How they going to be together? 
I got this energy of person not even offering to be as one with her. Because of what? Feelings of feeling. Feelings of feelings. <laughs> feeling like they're unprotected. And I got one on the other side. Looks like they're slipping away. That's 40 wide. Slipping away. They don't want to continue this. They don't want to continue this for some reason. But they're there, but they don't want to continue this. Because they're not getting everything they deserve. Which makes me wonder, how could you get less when it should be even from breast to breast? But he makes me feel like, no, nah, it ain't even. Because the right side is sucking the most. I'm not trying to be up under here no more. I'm not trying to be a part of this anymore. But it feels like talk to me. This other person is fading away. Fading away from her. They're getting out. They're coming out slowly. Which will give her more energy. More love. More space to love. Somebody got to go. And it looks like this one on the left is willing to go. Not desiring to have another cycle of this. Not wanting to be in this wanting out or needing to leave hmm just don't feel like a lot of force of leading leaving to me let me just see something So, got somebody leaving and detaching from her. And then got someone wanting to stay forever. Mm. But I got an attitude over here for some reason. This 40 watt kind of got an attitude. Like, man, I ain't about to be going through this again. You trying to bring somebody else in? You thinking about it? You talk to somebody else? They hear her? Speaking to another person. Remember that speech I told you that I felt like she's telling somebody like it's thin before you come in? <laughs> it just feels like this person on the left is jealous of that or having a problem with that. A possible water sign could be standing in front trying to come in. Possible. Or it could be a possible Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces. Wanting to leave, refusing to be a part of this cycle. Like we're not letting another person in or I don't want to be a part of this because of the other person that's here. So we got somebody that wants to be released, that talks about being released, that wants to be released. I just want to pull one card for the headship. Let's person who's able to do this for the person who is allowing them to be under the coat for her and why she's still feeding them if that makes sense and one got an attitude saying I don't want none but they take a sip just to survive again let's see I just want to see what energy they're working in. What energy is she working in? Oh, let's just... <sighs> now I got her working in love. How about that? I got her working in love. 
this right side working in codependency and this left side in jealousy and I got her working in love giving her love to these past energies but they're not out they're not side by side with her How can I say this naturally before I end? If I was speaking for her, <clears throat> it'll be something to the point of speaking for her. If somebody asks her, do you have a man? Of course, she won't even ask her that. That's just a dumb question to ask. Don't ask her that. That's dumb. I don't even know why that's dumb to even ask her that. But that's how I felt. But it just feels like if she had to answer it, she'll be like, I got men in me not on my side not on my shoulders not looking me eye to eye not below me not equal to me but I got them they're in me it's not even necessary for her to even have someone at the end of the day I don't see her denying it completely but she's working from love she's working from her from, from her cup to the people in her and I have her even negotiating to someone outside of her so it's like once you accept what it is then she has to accept you and once she accept you then you're part of it you're part of her <laughs> all right let me go to your original question what love is coming for her i don't have special people i don't have spirit-led people i don't have soul ties coming towards her i don't have soulmates coming towards her i don't have a person uh i don't have a person of interest at all but i do have these energies that is telling me whoever he is He needs to understand that it's thin. That's all I got. I don't even have this as a high priori priority for her right now. But I, they just need to understand that it's thin. And they need to understand that the closer we get or the closer you get to the new level of yourself, that things have to transition. Now, I don't know if that's happening naturally. She actually could be doing that. <laughs> she actually could be putting these dates on the calendar. Saying, Doomsday, oh, here's a date. She could be a moon watcher. I don't know. But that's the best I can do <laughs> in answering this question. What I like about it, man. In the beginning, the authority understanding herself for this time because this might not be permanent the wisdom the power the strength how many people do you know from your past that actually says to you or to other people about you don't let me go I can't think of too many people for myself. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I probably could. I don't know. But just something to think about. She has loved. Very much. Okay. All right. Talk to you soon.